Ok, ok. In today's video I will show you a couple of gadgets or modules that I got from AliExpress and let's start with the first one. And what is it? It's a mini 9 volt battery flashlight, 2 molds, COP LED, EDC, key light, 6F22 battery, outdoor lighting work light, excluding battery. I found it interesting, I ordered it and of course I got it. Also I have the second one and the third one. Stay tuned. Um, bubbles, no. And take a look. It's small flashlight. And in description it doesn't say how many watts is the LED chip inside? Hmm. That means that I need to figure out. Alright, let's test it now. So I can test this mini flashlight. I will use my 9 volt rechargeable battery with lithium pack. And you can get two pieces of 9 volt 4400 milliwatt hours battery the link will be in description below you can choose two four or more or six okay and let's try it i didn't check i'm gonna prove you that it have nine volts nine volts beautiful no need for charging and by the way the battery have type c connector at the bottom with the led light that indicates when it's fully charged plug in in three two one not working but it have a switch oh it's a tiny flashlight Oh, we have two modes, low, turning off, and high. This is awesome. We have a small brick, and you can attach any kind of, of 9 volt battery, rechargeable or not rechargeable, and make a flashlight. It's nice. And when the battery is charged, you can grab another 9 volt battery and plug in and go. Alright, now I'm gonna hook up on my power supply to see how many watts is the chip. On my beautiful DIY power supply I'm gonna attach the mini flashlight and I'm gonna set the voltage to 9 volts. Let's go to 9 volts. Okay, we have 9 volts, hitting on, and take a look, this is high beam I think, and it's pulling 110 milliampers, 1 watt, right? At the low beam, it's 0 0.3 watts, 36, 35 milliampers, high beam, 110 milliampers, 1 watt. That is not bad at all. Beautiful. I was thinking that this thing is useless. But no. Very quick flashlight. Using 9 volt battery. Nice. Let's open the next package now. And before I proceed to unboxing the next package. I must mention my supporters on my coffee page. And thank you to Dave Evans who paid monthly. Bello, one time he sent me a five dollars. Ooh, coffee supporter. Mr. Rusty who said thanks for the videos. Enjoy the coffee. Thank you, Mr. Rusty. I'm gonna enjoy it. Philip Walker, keep going video. I'm enjoying them. I'm enjoying also Philip. And thank you for the coffee. Thank you a lot. Bill, thank you. No, Bill. Thank, thanks to you for supporting this channel. He sent me two coffee. Oh, nice. Nick, 
monthly subscription who send me one coffee also Matt S monthly who send me five US dollars for coffee thank you for to all of you who support my channel and support the electronics the link will be in description below so you can buy me one coffee or you can be a monthly subscriber thank you this module is very useful and what is it but let me tell you you can order ESP C3 uh, module unwelded or welded and I got them but I don't have this module and it's a development board for the ESP32 C3 mini with a bunch of pin headers also you have a connector for battery and it's pretty nice it's around three US dollars I need this thing and that's why I ordered it and of course I got it oh it's turned it on what is the problem no bubbles for days I can't keep up like this I need bubbles let's open this module now love the colors different colors yellow red black blue green pretty nice and I must admit for electronic hobbies like me colors are very important and yes I will make a 360 short video take a look at this beauty amazing the colors different colors on the PCB board for me it's like Christmas beautiful just to remove this sticker and it's pretty annoying for me oh okay okay let me explain some stuff about this development extension board and I like that that everything is with colors and that means on uh, something for example the black pin headers are ground the red ones are positive 3.3 volts remember that the yellow ones are the pinouts or digital input or output we have 13 of them we have from this side also red that give 3.3 volts ground and the blue ones give 5 volts also we have the connector for attaching a battery which is pretty nice and if you have a ESP32 C3 mini module like this one how it goes like this I think like this or is the opposite nope I think it's like this you're gonna attach it and now you have much more pinouts for power supply the pinouts for digital outputs and inputs and analog inputs are the same but you have more 3.3 volts pin headers and 5 volts and ground it looks awesome oh, this will be useful for my DIY projects okay and I like that it goes smoothly it's not super tight that is nice all right that was all for today video I hope you like it so please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya